Savage Bowling TV here at the PBA Indianapolis Open with Jason Belmonte. And Jason, I know last weekend had to be a little bit of a disappointment for you. How are you going to rebound this weekend and what challenge do you see the dual pattern uh, giving you this weekend? Yeah, well, I mean, last week I was, I'm certainly looking at it from a uh, you know long-term picture. I mean, for the entire tournament I bowled great. Uh, a couple of shots on television didn't go my way, but that's something that I'm really not trying to hold on to. Overall, it was a great week, you know, so I'm trying to feed off of that. Coming into this week, that's exactly how I'm going to, you know, uh, the mentality that I'm bringing into here is, you know what, you're bowling great, let's just keep executing our shots. If we have a large percentage of great shots out there, it's going to be really difficult to beat you. And, uh, you know, if pins want to fall this week like they have been the last few weeks, great. If not, we'll try and do something else. What do you see in practice here today with both patterns being a dual, dual event? And what challenges do you feel that that will create as you progress through the week you're qualified? Yeah, well, I think the biggest difference is uh, you have to play two very, very different parts of the lane. Uh, the 38 feet uh, pattern, we're going to want to play it a lot further to the right using very different bowling balls. And then the 45 feet, you know, we're, we're looking to lock the left gutter a little bit. Now, the tricky thing is, is as the lanes are transitioning, typically in a normal tournament with one pattern, you kind of get a feel for that transition and then you move past it. Here, you may see a one lane transition before the other lane, or you may see them multiply, uh, the, the, the transitions happening multiple times throughout the day, but at different times. So you might feel like, man, I've got a really great shape on one lane, and then bang, the left lane's gone. You work out the left lane, you're like, finally, then the right lane transition. So it's going to be something that I think the players are going to have to be very, very clever with, really keep their eyes focused on that transition, and make your adjustments you know really quickly i gotta ask you one quick question your your perception of fox and the uh, the relationship between both the pba and and fox sports on doing the, uh, the telecast it seems to be a great one so far yeah absolutely look and i can tell you from a player's perspective out here on tour the vibe is, is one that's way more positive we have a uh, a massive broadcast partner in Fox that sees us as valuable and wants to invest in us and is obviously giving us the best possible product on television and that makes us feel really good. So when we get on television, all of that mixed with the, the awesome fans that we keep having coming to our events, we, we put on a great show and I think it would be very hard to disagree with me in saying that the 2019 season has had some of the most epic bowling uh, this maybe in the last you know 10 15 years of, of its history so you put all that together with a partner that wants to see you grow it's nothing but awesome yeah it, and it seems like players are really anxious about getting on tv it's like you know the, the recorded shows just don't have the same feel as a live telecast each week yeah i mean it's always nice to be able to win and then you know call your family and friends and say hey did you see that it was live uh, but I think ultimately for bowling, any time that we're on television, it's important to us. We do want to be live more often, but as long as we are on TV, we're in the, the, the bedrooms and lounge rooms of you know, households across the world, that's our most important thing. And as long as we've got partners like Fox that are willing to back us, it's up to us now to give them a show. Well, I would, I would tell this guy good luck, but I don't think he needs any. I'll uh, take it every The week. best in the world. So, Jason, thanks for your time. Appreciate Thank you. it. Cheers. All right, Jason Belmonte, guys. Look for him maybe on Sunday's show.